Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from higher ground on Ladies Island. I'm joined this afternoon by Chris Butler from Butler Marine yes. and the port at Port Royal Project. Yep. Hey, Chris. Hey, good you had to see you again. Thank you, you again. for inviting us. Absolutely. I mean, you had a big commute just walking yeah. across, Walk across, across the street <laughs> from Butler Marine right here on Ladies Island. And obviously, we're in Tim's new location at higher yes. ground on Ladies Island. So very happy to be here. But you obviously have had a lot going on since the last time you were a guest on North of the Broad. You have closed on the property um, at Port Royal, and you guys are starting with your plan um, to open up the dry dock and, yes. and move move along. Yeah. So yeah, and and in our plan, it's kind of going uh, as we had hoped. Everything could, you know, we wish everything would move a little quicker, but it is what it is, and we can we can work with it. The dry stack will open first. It should be open mid uh, January timeframe. Excellent. So that'll be a good thing. Get some people down there. Mm -hmm. um, then the uh, the. Well, a restaurant um, partner is, his plan is June 1st to be open. Um, and we'll have a section of the roadway um, that we kind of call the road that will connect all the different pieces along that uh, development. That'll be our first section done. And it should be done from roughly about uh, 10th Street up to 13th Street. So it'll kind of be the first view the public sees of what this is going to look like. So we put a lot of time and effort into this first section so you first, know, good it, first impression. Uh, yeah, we get a second <laughs> chance. Do you? We don't want. Uh, we want to make sure that yeah. uh, people at Port Royal are happy with it. So this is the space we're talking about that is now currently gated and that people have not been able to see or have a, a vista through. For, for the, the yeah, for the dry stack it is, but for the um, uh, for the restaurant that's always been accessible. Talking about so the that former area, dockside yeah, so location. So former dockside location, um, and when that um, that so people have always been able to go down mm -hmm. there. And matter of fact, you can go down there any day, and you always mm -hmm. see some cars. Uh, because of the uh, seafood facility they have right. there. Um, but once we start some construction there, uh, which hopefully will be in, you know, it'll be in 2018, we'll have our road done by uh, the opening for that restaurant. So everything's working together. That's great, Chris. So um, let's talk specifically about um, the dry stack. How many yeah. um, vessels will you be able to house there? We'll be able to house there 240 units. Um, plus we'll have some uh, shop and cleaning racks as well. Later on, we'll add a component of a retail area as well for new boats mm -hmm. uh, that we'll be handling there. Um, we'll have a small ship store, but not, not like what we have at our main location mm -hmm. here in Beaufort. Okay. Um, it'll just handle more things like dock lines and fenders, things that people would lose on a boat. On a boat, on a day yeah, trip. Yeah, on a day trip, <laughs> on a day trip from the dry stack <laughs> to back to the dry stack. Right, yeah, things that you know typically people um, are yes. looking for. Um, and talk um, uh, about the marina, any timeline about that? Yeah, the marina, the marina partner that we currently have right now, um, we're making um, progress with them. Uh, the reality is, till that, till the first boat ties up there, that'll be three years mm -hmm. to 30 months, uh, mainly because the the permitting process, the permit is done, but the permit was just a placeholder. What they actually have to file um, with the state is specifics on exactly how the docks will be aligned, mm -hmm. how far out they mm -hmm. go, how wide are the walkways. All of that has specifics. to go into it, specifics. So that is going to take a little bit of time. And of course, once it's in the state's hands, you know, that's another six to eight months before they give an answer back. So due process. It's a due, yeah, it's a process. It's a process. So people who may be interested um, in, in, in signing up and, and using the dry um, stack facility, yeah. um, are you currently taking reservations? When do you anticipate that whole process being open to the public so people can start to make plans? Yeah, we're taking reservations right now. Well, we're taking, let me say, we're taking a list for us to contact once we have uh, our people in place, which we have some of those done, but we don't have the computer system finished off. That'll be about mid-December. And we'll take those people that are on the list, which currently I think we have about 50 50 people are on the list, and then there's an unofficial list that has another 40 customers right. that have all said that they want to come. Right. Like, hey, Chris, um, save me a yes, spot. Yes, <laughs> right, save me a spot. And with 240 spots, we've got a lot of openings right now. Those people will be contacted in mid-December to go ahead and get paperwork out of the way, get all of that stuff done, so that when we get the forklift in and that is it's operational, we're ready to go and we're putting boats in, and it's, it's a seamless process is the idea. Excellent. That's our plan. I know, I know. Well, we <laughs> hope that um, your plan all comes and uh, to, for, to fruition and that it come, runs smoothly. Yeah. Um, that, this wraps up the time we have here, but we certainly would like to have you on yeah. again um, as we get into early spring and you can update us on to how that things are going. Yeah. But um, congratulations, and I think oh. we're all looking forward to see, yep. hang, seeing it grow and how wonderful it will be for the community. Yeah, thank you very much Thanks, for having Chris. us again. That wraps up this edition of North of the Broad. Hope to see you next time.